Hello, my wonderful people. Today, I want to make uh, the tutorials on how to use this portable, uh, rechargeable hand fan to make a brighter hand fan. So, I will be attaching this rechargeable hand fan to the brighter and fan so you can see we have the point where we recharge the hand fan and we have the point where we own the hand fan so this part they are very sensitive parts that we must take care of while doing the work so i will be using this as embellishment and also i'll be using this trimming also silver and then I'll be using the uh, feathers. Now, the feathers I'm using and the rechargeable hand fan are of the same color, but it is not always you will get the same color with your feathers. So, and I will need to use this carton to create the fan skeleton. A lot of you do ask me how do do i get my fan skeleton or how do i make them so henceforth i'll be showing you how i go about the fan skeleton so for this very one you can see that the carton is very thick very thick but assuming you don't have a very thick carton then you can glue two light cartons together and then it will be thick enough for you to use so first of all there's something very important I must do and that is the fact that I have to create a hole or a space where I can bury the fan in between where I can put the fan in between it will help both the back and the front of the fan to come out so this is the hole and of course i used the fan itself to create the hole or to get the measurement for the hole or for the circle so now uh, i find out is a little bit free so i'll wrap it with something to reduce the size so that the fan can fit in properly so Again, I will need to create uh, the part where I now, uh, where I'm going to fix the feathers. So to get an accurate measurement, I'll just place my measurement tape at the middle and then take a particular measurement and turn it round. So as I turn round, I will simply use my tailoring shock to rule and then cut out. So this is how it will look like. So the next thing I'll do is to fix the fan in between. But I told you before that it looks a little bit too free. So I'll be using uh, a, I'll be using material or a fabric to like wrap in between the uh, the circle. So it will increase and then reduce. It will reduce the size of the circle and then it will help the fan to fit into it properly so me for me uh, i can always glue and make it perfect but for you as learners i will advise that while cutting your carton the circle you should be a little bit careful so that you not get it too wide but if it becomes too wide, then you can use the method I am using now to reduce the circle so that the fan can fit in properly. So to fix the fan into this circle that I've created is very easy. I'll simply use my hot glue to do that. So it's very easy. There's no two ways about how to fix the fan into that circle. After pouring a lot of hot glue on it, it must 
stay. So there's no big deal about that. There's nothing like you are going to attach it with thread and needle. No, you don't need anything like that. Just make sure that you put enough hot glue and even your hot glue can help you to fill your space. Uh, but the space the hot glue can fill must not be too uh, big. So you can see how fitted it is already. You can see how fitted it is. The fan is seated. I have used the hot glue to fix the fan to the skeleton. So right now, it is already uh, well uh, fitted. So the next thing I will do is that, um, sorry, I have not fixed that. The next thing I'll do is that I will first of all wrap um, the handle before fixing it. I'll wrap the handle because after fixing it into the circle, I might find it very difficult to wrap the handle completely. And I don't want to leave any parts uh, untouched. So I have wrapped now and I've glued it to the skeleton. So it is perfect the way it is. And then what I was trying to show you is after wrapping, I was still able to control the fan. I was able to on and able to charge the fan. So while wrapping, you must be very careful and conscious of the fact that you need to be able to charge the fan and as well be able to own the fan so you create the, your space for that so right now it will be time for me to uh, fix the feathers to this skeleton the skeleton the fan skeleton i have is quite big it's quite big so my intention is to use two rows of feathers so two complete rows of feathers so on one part i'll be using one roll on the other part i'll be using another uh, roll that this will make it to be very bold very big you understand cultivating so that's just my intention but you can work with one roll of feathers to complete the work. So it's not compulsory uh, you work with two rows of feathers. It's not compulsory at all. So one can be enough. But if you are going to use one, then you, are, you must reduce the size of your uh, fan skeleton because... Uh, the bigger the size, the more the feathers that it will uh, take. So as much as possible, you work according to your intention. So if you know you are going to use just one roll to complete your work, then the skeleton just has to be very small. All right? So before I proceed with my explanations, if today is your first time of stopping by this channel, you are highly welcome. This is Creative Ends platform. And on this channel, I train people on anything crafts that has to do with Toban, Auto Gile, Fascinators, Arts, and also and Fans. Even both tying of Gele is also part of the things we learn here. I guess you don't want to miss all this wonderful package. So please, before leaving this place today, do well to subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you can always get uh, informed or notified whenever I upload a new video. Is that okay? All right. So right now, uh, I believe that gluing of the feathers shouldn't be a problem to anyone 
it is the hot glue that I'm using and it is one of the easiest uh, ways of attaching your hand fan feathers. If you care to know any other thing you can use apart from the hot glue, you can use the UHU glue and I think there is another glue they call uh, E5000. Yeah, so you can use any of those glues and your work will come out perfect. All right. So right now, I have covered every part of this fan completely. You can see. So I will do the same thing I did to the front, to the back. So this is how it will look. So that's not the fact that I have fixed in my feathers. You can see that I was still able to own the fan. This is one very important aspect of this project that you must always put into consideration as you do your work. So your ability to put on the fan and then to charge the fan as well. So putting it on and charging the fan, you can see that I also plug in the charger here. So you must also give space for that. So while wrapping the handle, you open a space where the charger can pass through. So this is how it is. Now I will proceed to the next um, step, which is designing of the fan. Now uh, it's not compulsory to design this fan with this embellishment, but uh, for the purpose of clarity, because sometimes you might not get the color of hand fan that will match your feathers, but you can get the color of this embellishment for every uh, feather, you can get it. So instead of, once you get a white fan, you can use a white fan on any color. All you need to do is to use this particular embellishment that I am using now to cover the fan completely. So what I did was to cut out the embellishment, cut out the strands of the embellishment, after which I started attaching it to the fan using my uh, hot glue. So uh, the hot glue is easier and faster for me. If not, you can use the E5000 glue. That's because uh, the opening of that glue, that's the mouth, is very thin. So because it's very thin, it will be very easy for you to use it. But if you are going to use the hot glue, then I will advise that you use the small machine. You know that the hot glue have two different types of machine. You have the big size and the small one. So I will advise that if you are using the hot glue, kindly use that very um, small one so that the uh, candle will not stain your work and cause some kind of uh, roughness. So you can see that this fan is now covered. Instead of it looking like blue, it's now showing silver. So, so it looks like a design that I fixed inside uh, the brighter arm fan, you understand? Though it is time consuming, but whatever is worth doing is worth doing well. So if you actually hope to achieve something unique, then you should be ready to dedicate your time to it. So what I did to the front of the uh, fan, I will also repeat it at the back. So both the back and the front will be completely covered. Now, the middle, the middle of this fan can also be covered if you want. 
that is you can also use some patches to cover that part just drop the patches there but if you don't want to cover it i don't think it will post any kind of challenge it's not going to be a big deal all right so this is just how it will look the complete uh work it, so look at it just look at it i told you it is time consuming but just look at the front and the back completely covered totally beautiful so now this is not all i'm going to use the trimming i showed you before to cover the edge and i will also ensure that i covered the first part of the fan so i don't want any part of that edge to show so everything will be covered and it will just look like a uh, complete uh, silver so by the time you look at this fan at finishing you see that the entire uh, middle there will just look like silver so i carefully used the odd glue to turn the silver embellishment round the shape of the fan and also make sure that no part of the edge of the fan is left open and by the time i was done this is how it looked so beautiful so gorgeous so what i did to the front i will also do to the back so i'm bringing it very close for you to see yes that part there the middle can also be covered i've explained that before it can be covered so right now i am done with the embellishment for both the front and the back i'll just add a little bit of a uh, stone for reflection i want to like i know it's already beautiful but don't worry when i bring it close now you will see what i mean when i said i want to add a little bit of stone because of reflection so the stone will help it shine better and then last lastly i must trim the fan so some persons might want to say is it really compulsory to trim i think i'll say no but then if you really want to get a good shape i think uh, you should just give out some time to dedicate some little time to trimming of the fan it will help the shape of the fan to come out better so what i have here looks like round but if you see the shape of my skeleton this is what it looks like so i actually trimmed it to the shape of my skeleton if i want to do a complete all round i'm going to show you how to make that one in my next video if i want it to be a complete round so you can see that because i used complete uh two rows of feathers the ant fan or bridal fan is very full very very full and is looking very very uh beautiful very very beautiful i love the boldness i love the finishing i don't know about you so please you can drop comment on my the comment section and if you have any question you can also ask i will respond to you you can also use my number on the screen now to place order for anything auto gelator ban and fan and we can send it to you from any any part of the world so see you in my next video for me it is bye